Bella. Bella. Yeah. Duck. Yeah, you got a hand. You say thank you. first started looking into it as soon as we found out that we were going to be adopting Henry and that he had the limb difference and, and we just wanted to know what our options were. I read an article about somebody making a prosthetic hand and I said well, I can do that, and did, in fact, just download it, put it on a card, move it out of the printer, and hit print. The first one didn't go on anybody, but I learned how a couple of mistakes that I didn't have to make again. I coined a phrase, I think I coined it, but it's uh, 3D Samaritanism. My mom always taught me to be nice to people, uh, Intel guides me to be nice to people. I have a 3D printer. It costs me less than $10 to give somebody a prosthetic hand. And if you can do that sort of thing, you really should. The car, you should. And I think the 3D printed hands, what they're really doing is they look so cool. And so all the other kids are kind of jealous that they've got this awesome 3D printed hand. And so that kind of takes away from the stigma of having a limb difference as well. And that we wanted to provide for him too. This is the very grateful that there's people who have the technology and people who have the expertise and, and that they want to volunteer and that they want to help out kids. I think that that's, that's awesome. It cost me more money to mail the prosthetic than it did to build the prosthetic. And that was amazing to me. It just opens it up to so many more people.